Hi guys, in this video I want to show you a solution to make a didgeridoo to play in the entire octave. Mm, nowadays there are several makers they make uh, didgeridoo in the entire octave. So um, any anyone has uh, his own idea and uh, yeah, I, I think uh, a couple of them are very very uh, nice in making this kind of didgeridoo um, for what I what I saw in the past. Anyway, um, I have a clear idea about uh, my um, playing style and how I want to to have my didgeridoo. And what I know is um, I like to play even in the highest keynote. So. Uh, Usually having um, a didgeridoo with uh, a longer pipe inside uh, obliges you to have uh, the, the beginning part that is cylindrical plus just a short bell um, joined to, to the slide. In this case, uh, the highest keynote are not so simple to play. For example, a didgeridoo that I appreciate a lot is the didgeridoo and um, with, I never used the jerry bone to play staccato sound with uh, basic drone and tooth. It is not made for that kind of playing. It is made for playing overtone lines. And um, in this case, I prefer then to have uh, a shorter uh, slide. This is made from aluminium and uh, this goes directly inside of uh, the fiberglass. The weight is really really low, it is about 500 grams. So I can uh, easily take it with two fingers and it slides quite well. Mm. Since the highest frequency and uh, the sound is well balanced and I can move from the basic drum to the tooth easily. This is uh, the first point. This is what I wanted to have because I don't want to lose this chance. Uh, on the other end, I can play overtone lines as well, since the bell is quite big, it's uh, 8, uh, 8 cm, but even not too huge. And I can also do the same with other uh, keynotes. Okay, so um, it is quite simple to play in, in every key and uh, this is my favorite instrument um, as a slide. So this is what I propose uh, with my association for uh, beginners or even uh, professional players. They, they need to have a quite big range of the most used uh, key frequency of the didgeridoo. But uh, Chris, this guy, uh, he asked me to have uh, the first slide. Uh, he found it mm, quite well, and so he asked me to have the entire frequency uh, range of uh, uh, of the entire octave. And so I made this instrument. And uh, as I showed you before, uh, the slide is black, and since he need uh, uh, the the lines. Uh, 
to get uh, the didgeridoo tuned while moving even because uh, in the lowest frequency it's not so simple it, it, it is less simple uh, to tune it by here than the highest uh, frequency because our ear is not uh, made uh, to listen so carefully that uh, frequency range and so uh, this is uh, C And so this is my choice. Um, in the next, in one of the next video, I will show you. Um, I, I I need to uh, to find time, but I will show you uh, some prototypes made from wood uh, to replicate uh, the the same uh, uh, technology, the same uh, philosophy of this kind of uh, didgeridoo. So uh, two slide didgeridoos made from wood with the aluminium slide. So thank you very much and see you in uh, one of the next video. If you appreciated this instrument or not, you can also comment downstairs and if you have questions, uh, just write me, write me back. Maybe I'll find some ideas to make uh, new videos just for you. Thank you very much.